the stream. Sweet. Fun. So what are we in? We are March 22nd, 2018, 1 p.m. Pacific time, my time. And we're doing a live stream in the kitchen again. We were here yesterday, we made some pancakes, talked about life. And um, today we're gonna make some more food. And um, as usual, we're gonna give everybody a couple of minutes, two to three minutes or so, five minutes or so to see who's gonna pop up. And, um, and then we'll start up, okay. I should have uh, something prepped for this waiting period a little story i should tell you and stuff um, hey chicho ray how are you doing higher spot of tea hello hello hey man how's life good 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 it's uh gotten colder here it was nice and warm for a few days it was really nice going off for walks and stuff you didn't even have to double jacket today all of a sudden rain chilly good day to make uh, strong food lamb and liver mm. for winter oh, for winter lamb uh, liver especially liver and onions fantastic serious energy food hello hello dr. Burns. how are you doing from backgammon I remember you I think that's the only stream um, you came on I don't know but we had a nice conversation for the backgammon hello Tom hello yeah hello everyone hello everyone fun uh, did, 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 did anybody show up on the last stream uh, yesterday's stream I ate too many pancakes first time yes okay cool first time outside of backgammon or um hello chicho hello hello archers archers tom mm, i was there sweet i went well i think i think it was good we had a nice lot of nice conversations hello lord how are you doing hope your test went well i, I hope you've already written it if you haven't written it you should go study right now uh huge fan of liver and onions yeah me too liver and onions uh, it's underrated many people don't make it I don't know why um, I guess it's uh, I mean liver has high cholesterol from what I understand and you know people have been staying away from internal organs of animals and stuff like this but uh, liver and onions when you eat it you feel stronger it's power food it's really powerful it's good for you yeah I had a great time yesterday really cool to chat philosophy yeah it was really fun it was, I enjoyed a lot I ate too many pancakes <laughs> like too many pancakes I had uh, I guess made seven pancakes and ate three of half of three of so three and a half pancakes I ate and they were all heavy you know they had contents in them uh, lamb liver though lamb and liver I've never cooked lamb and liver together uh, it's always separate dishes that I make and it is delicious oh I've never tried I'll have to look this up I'll have to look this up hello Lou uh, I just ended the pancake video now <laughs> you are you are alive you're from Spain you just ended like two and a half hour pancake video yesterday and you're in for another another food session hello from Spain hello hello from Canada hello to Spain Spain's fun I had a lot of fun in Spain man no liver from lamb oh liver from lamb lamb liver oh uh, I've had beef I've had uh, chicken I must have had lamb liver when I was a kid but I don't remember I've never cooked with lamb liver um, I have cooked with beef but I prefer chicken with liver and onions uh, that's what I prefer so this is uh, we're about five minutes in so let's take down our sign uh, ba -ba -ba. start shortly I I, I did an upgrade to my setup I was having I my mouse was always beside the computer here I have the camera set up here camera set up here mic and the main camera computer set up here and I was always leaning over with the mouse and 
all I did was just bring it over here. <laughs> I don't know why it took me a few streams to figure that one out, but much easier to deal with, much easier to deal with. Like all liver, but lamb is next level stuff. Oh man, okay, sweet. Thank you for the suggestion. I'm gonna, next time I'm gonna do this with uh, lamb liver and see what that's like. Okay, so let me, let me give you the low low down what we're gonna do again it's the same stuff a couple of cameras my computer and I have the camera set up here Boop. where are we doink, doink. and when I reach here I'm gonna hit the camera on the side that my hand is pointing at yesterday with the pancakes I hit these two cameras flip so when I was reaching here my the hand was showing up over here so doing the stuff here i noticed that after i washed it right so i had i made a little note to myself uh to make sure i take care of that from now on okay so we got the two pans going here and we're going to cook uh, liver and onion on this side and we're going to do some roasted uh pan fried potatoes or pan fried potatoes on this side okay but we do have to sort of do this in order to have everything ready at the same time to a certain degree because the onions we're going to caramelize a little bit and caramelizing onions takes a little bit of time so i'm going to take this out of the way right now i'm going to set up my cutting board and i'm going to chop up some onions okay so let me put this guy here let's bring this guy here and what i'm going to do is because uh because for the last little while I've been using a lot of olive oil and a lot of coconut oil, I'm just like yesterday, I'm going to start using uh, avocado oil. Okay, so for this cook and most likely for the next few cooks, I'm going to try to use avocado oil because avocado oil I can use at high temperatures as well as low temperatures, and I like it, I like the way it feels, and I like cooking with it. It's uh, friendly to cook with. Okay, so what I'm going to do. I'm gonna put some oil in here. And for caramelizing onions, you're gonna need uh, a little bit of oil. Okay, not too much. Right now, we're gonna start off with this and see where it goes. Hello, Elvis. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to another cooking stream. And um, what I'm doing with the, with the oil, and I usually try to do this almost always anyway with these uh, cast iron pans, is I put it on low, I put the oil in, and let the pan heat up a little bit. And as before, uh, my elements are strong. Okay, they're, they burn heavy. Okay. And let me show you actually the recipe. Hello, Chicho. Hello, Christian Martin. How are you doing? So let me give you guys the recipes or the ingredients that we're going to put in there. Da -da 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 -da. Where are we? Uh, there we go. Here's the lamb. Here's the liver. Okay, so right now what I need to do is chop up, I'm gonna take two onions, right? Two yellow onions, and I'm gonna chop these up and I'm gonna throw them just to be slowly caramelized, just cook them up slowly, right? I might kick it up to medium every now and then, kick, it, kick up the temperature and then bring it down again, right? But I'm gonna use two onions for the liver. And the liver amount, what I do is I buy it from the local butcher we have here. And this is, the weight on this is 0.28 uh, kilograms. And I did the little conversion. It turns out to be about six pounds, right? But I vary the quantity of onions and liver uh, when I do this cook. Good evening, Chisho. Good evening, Christian. Christian Sun 93 Good evening. Hey, X, how are you doing? I miss your, um, your emoji coming up. Welcome, welcome, guys. Um, so what I end up doing when I do the liver, I usually buy two packs of these and I fry up usually anywhere between two to three onions for two packs of these. But right now I only want to do one pack because we're going to cook up a fair bit of lamb chops, right? So I don't want to have too much uh, a liver. I usually eat the day of, I don't keep it in the fridge for long. If I keep it in the fridge, um, if I don't feel like it, I don't eat it the next day. I do sometimes if it's only a little bit as taster, but I don't keep liver and onions in the fridge. When I make liver and onions, I eat fresh. Okay. As soon as I make them or the day of, I try to finish the liver and onions. Okay. Double Elvis. I'm just doing some cooking myself. 
some Karelian stew. Karelian stew. I don't know what that is. It's a local meat and veggies dish. Oh, nice. Karelian stew. I'm going to look this up. I'm taking notes from these streams. So certain things that pop out, I'm just writing them down, right? Karelian stew. Karelian stew. Okay. So we're going to cut this, these guys up, chop them up. And with onions, you know, I'm not a professional cook. I'm not, I don't you know, I don't go chop, 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 chop. I do it my own style, what I'm comfortable with. I take my time to do these things. Okay. And usually I would do this by the sink. So I throw the peels um, into the sink as we're, as I'm cutting them. But since we've got the camera set up and we're chatting, might as well do them here, right? And I usually peel it like this. I should look up to see what the easiest way is to get rid of the top layer of onions, but I like, uh, to a certain degree, I t cooking is sort of very meditative for me. I take my time, I, I enjoy it. I don't, I don't try to rush it usually if I'm, in a rush to eat, I usually grab dates, cheese, uh, yogurt, uh, yogurt with fruit and stuff. It's rare that I try to cook up things fast. Um, other than eggs, I cook up a lot of eggs. You know, eggs and dates and stuff that we did in one of the cooks. How long does that Karelian stew take? Stew takes a while. I'll show you guys how I make some lamb stew as well. Lamb and, and beef stew, beef stew to a certain degree, but um, for, for me anyway, uh, it's only borscht that I end up using beef for to make stew. And one thing I do try to do, um, I'll just share a pointer, some of the things that I do out of habit, is my cutting knife, I always keep this dry. If it gets wet, I dry it up because I don't want to slip when I'm cutting anything, right? I have a, I have a couple of friends that are chefs. I've come across a few friends that have been chefs. And one time I was cooking for him and I did this, I would, I sit there and I do this and he was like, and he was, a, he was uh, from Korea and he is back in Korea. Hmm. Oh wow, we got a door knock again. This might be the comic books arriving so I gotta check it guys, I'll be back shortly. Okay, guys, this is going to be a couple of minutes, the two big boxes of comics. So we're set up to do the comic book haul on Saturday, but they're coming and I can't lift them. I'm going to have to open up the boxes because I still got my back twitch and lay the stuff on the on the on the steps. So people look, watching this on YouTube or BitChute, my apologies. I'll be back as soon as I can. For those of you guys watching live, my apologies. I'm going to turn this down. I'll be back ASAP. I need to sign it. Okay.
<laughs> they're big boxes he's bringing them what i'm going to do is uh in the description of the video when i load it on bitshoot and youtube at the top line i'll put where you can skip to to continue the stream uh continue the video sorry guys about the stream x is going sweet Okay, I'm back. I didn't have to cut him up. The guy brought him in and put him in front of the door and they fit. We closed the door. Fantastic. Um, so guys, uh, we're on for Saturday night for the stream. Uh, good evening, Chicho. Sweet. I've come back and Chicho has gone. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Package delivery. That's the magic of the liver stream. <laughs> so... Uh, Saturday, we're on for live stream, comic book hall. Okay. Uh, I haven't set up the time yet. So in this stream, whatever time you guys want for us to do the stream Saturday, because we're going to do a stream tomorrow as well, uh, Friday night. And that stream is at, uh, da -da 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 -da. let's see, that stream is at, I don't know what time that stream is. Tomorrow night's stream, which is going to be mathematics, we've set it up for 9 p.m. Pacific time, my time. We'll do a stream Saturday. Okay, it's got to be Saturday night. Um, and it has to be 9 p.m. or later, anytime you guys want. If you guys want it to be 2 o'clock in the morning, which would put it on Sunday morning, 2 o'clock, I can do it then. Okay, so I'm leaving this up to you guys. And seriously, I'm okay with doing it anytime you guys want so we're open to do a live stream saturday night comic book hall anytime between 9 p.m and 5 a.m my time okay and i'll let you guys decide when it is and they're all going to be it's, it's a buy from the same uh, collector that i bought the last streams from so they're all modern comics their runs and there's a couple of other uh sets that he had on there that i wanted so i loaded up and i got two boxes worth to make the to distribute out the shipping costs over all the books so we can have a lower per unit price that we talk about during the comic streams okay and for those of you who are really interested in the food apologies about the little interruption okay any hint as to what comics you got um they're they're modern comics right and there was I don't know i forget how many comics there are i haven't done the count yet i haven't done the ta table of content uh not table of contents the table for it yet um but there were specifically um three sets that i wanted to get and i bought an another <laughs> maybe 10 more sets <laughs> so it came in two boxes um one of them is um uh, Grant Morrison's happy. I'll let you know that for sure because I really wanted that. I've watched the, I don't know if you guys have seen the TV series that came out, uh, the happy t TV series based on Grant Morrison's happy. Um, but I loved the first episode of that, of that series when it started. The second episode was good. The third episode I was apprehensive on. So I stopped it halfway and then I came back to it a few days later, started off, I think third or fourth, started off halfway again and finished it and then it got better and better and better so it was a fantastic series so i had to grab grant morrison's happy and then there's an x-men right in there as well 
Okay. Back to onions, liver and onions. And thank you for thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. I don't know how long that took. That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. So I'm gonna chop up these onions and I was saying I had a friend that was a he was a chef, he was a Korean chef and he's back in Korea. But when he was in Vancouver, um, I was cooking for him and I was chopping up my onions like this, you know, putting my fingers on both sides and putting a little bit of pressure just to keep these intact, right? And he was like, that's so dangerous. I can't believe you're doing that because he's used to going. Um, yeah, for me, I cook for myself and friends and family. So I'm not trying to prepare a gazillion meals and it is sort of a meditative process for me uh, so I chop it up like this and I keep things in groups and this is the size that I'm gonna have these onions for the liver and onions right so I go down the middle I don't know how many cuts I give each half but then all I do is just go all right. and usually with onions I should have taken these guys off too I take off this part of it okay I got interrupted well I won't take them off now usually I have to take them off uh, what do you call it before I start cutting them it's easier there's no slippage that way okay but I can't take them off here like this if you watch okay. I'm not sure why I take them off these guys right? um, it's just habits can do it like this too. Let's take this guy off too. This guy is more, so I'm just gonna go like this. So we chop these up. And usually with uh, root vegetables or root anything coming out of the ground, I try to go organic. Because they basically, you know, if they're using a lot of pesticides and chemicals and stuff like this, if it's in the ground, then it's being directly applied to the f veggies and fruits and whatever they are, right? So I try to get potatoes, onions, yams, sweet potatoes and whatnot in as organics. Hey, <laughs> hey, Dante, how are you doing? So we got the oil. I'm gonna heat it up a little bit more. We had a little pause, all right? Let me take down the recipe, okay? So that's the liver and onions. Right now, we're just gonna caramelize it. So let me take down the liver and onion recipe. Boop. And the lamb, while the oil is heating up, let me show you the lamb. Here's the lamb, okay? Let me show it to you like this. So it's in a container like this, okay? And I marinated this, take a look. This is what it looks like. And I marinated this, this is basically eight uh, lamb loin chops, okay? And I marinated in rosemary leaf. Okay, let me, here, let me put it here so you can see it. Ooh, I'm having a little bit of spillage of onions. This is heated a little bit more. I'm gonna kick up the temperature a little bit more. Okay. As for uh, the marinade for the lamb, this is basically when I say I use rosemary leaves from two stems. This is basically I take about this much. So that's one small stem and that's one large stem, right? So I can't remember if I did. I didn't do two small ones. I did at least one large one. I might have done another medium one or a large one, right? So when I say uh, rosemary leaves, so I just basically go take it off. Oops, I should show it to you here. I just go take it off, right, like this. Like you can do it like this, right? You just pull it off. There's a stem, right? And here are the leaves, right? And I just throw that on there. And I can just here, I can add more. It doesn't make a difference, right? It'll just give it a little bit of more rosemary flavor when it's cooking up and what i ended up doing i put about a quarter cup 
and I free pour and I didn't measure it, but I do about a quarter of a cup of balsamic vinegar, a quarter of a cup of olive oil. Okay, and I took four cloves of garlic. The cloves. So four cloves would be about this, but I use probably three big ones. So assume these three, these, actually probably two big ones and two medium or small ones, right? So assume we had two of these guys, bigger ones and two little guys, because clove sizes, I mean, that's one thing with recipes, clove, the description is so, you know, it all depends on the size of your fruits and vegetables and whatnot, right? da da da, -da hey chicho, hey chat. <laughs> Vex, how you doing? I haven't been able to catch any of your streams in the last few days. I've been super busy. Uh, I hope it's going well. Everyone is having a fantastic day. Just going to lurk. Well, for sure, lurk away, man. I love lurking on your channel. That's what I do on your games. I just lurk. I usually just kick back and my keyboard is beside me over there. So if I have to type anything, I have to reach over and do it. Right? Do you use uh, those cast iron pans? Yeah. Yeah, I basically almost exclusively, unless I'm using pots where we're gonna boil some water, I'll show you this, actually I'll show you this. Uh, we're gonna make some pan fried potatoes. I use cast iron pans, okay. Uh, also, we all still need a Chicho versus Bill Man. <laughs> I watched his live stream. Thank you for mentioning that, by the way. And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Bill Max Vox Packs, is uh, an ASMR ASMR artist ASMRist that's usually when I have the pan when it's heated up I usually hear a sizzle when I put it in so I should be more careful wait until it's a little bit hotter but we'll do it right now okay. uh, but Bill Max is um, he's an ASMR artist and he's very good I like his work um, but he had taken a huge break and everybody thought that it was gone for good, but he just came back, like I guess, uh, a few days ago. And I was watching Vex's live stream, gaming live stream, and he mentioned uh, he'd come back. So I went on there and watched his recorded live stream. And that was the first live stream that he was doing. So it's awesome seeing him doing live stream as well. Okay, so I'm kicking this up a little bit more. I want this to, the onions to heat up faster than I'm doing the comic book haul threw me away. Okay. And uh, it's all good, man. Lurker, da da da. I watch. I watched it too, but unfortunately, he didn't know you was. Oh, yeah. Someone mentioned um, my name. So here's the lamb. Um, and let me finish off with the, the recipe on this. We'll continue that. And then, so what I do, I mix this up, the lamb. And then I pour a glass of red wine, right? I chop off the, the garlic. Put it in there, put it on top usually, and then pour wine on top. And then I close the lid and put it in the fridge, right? I close the lid, put it in the fridge. So the bottom of the lamb, the bottom house would be soaking in the marinade. So I did that early morning or late morning yesterday, I guess. Uh, we finished the, After we finished the pancake, I, I guess it was mid-afternoon by the time we finished the pancake. So mid-afternoon, I did the marinade for this. Before I went to sleep last night, I flip them okay so I come over with a fork and I flip the lambs so the top half is now sitting in the marinade and then this morning I came up and flipped them again right so that's the way they're sitting and this is exactly the color that you want for you want them to be I don't know what you would call this but when you get lamb meat they're red right but when you put them in marinade they get darker like this Okay, and we're gonna deal with the lamb later. I just wanted to take down the marinade recipe. So close this up. Let's put this here. Okay. Now going back to uh number one stream have been great. Hi hi. Oh I'm missing I'm missing uh da -da 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 -da. do you always use those cast iron? Yeah I will backgammon. Oh, backgammon game with Bill would be awesome, actually. I missed the backgammon part. I watched it too, but unfortunately he didn't know. Yeah, that's right, he didn't. That's okay. A lot of people don't know about many people. I don't know about some of the 
very high ranking YouTube people that people mention. I'm like, who's that? And I look over and they're like two million subs on them or something, <laughs> right? We'll have to change that. Uh, fun. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, thank you. Anyway, uh, he will, he will when Chicho whoops him. <laughs> does he? I don't know if he, I've never seen him play backgammon. I don't know if he does or not. How you doing? Doing well, Diggy. Doing well, Diggy. Um, now, just on the onion side, what we're also going to do is make uh, pan fried potatoes. And I decided this last minute, I didn't, uh, I didn't put up the recipe for the pan fried potatoes. But pan fried potatoes, they here. Let me take down the lamp thing. Pan fried potatoes are so based on each person how they want to do it, and. I don't do this all the time, but I'm gonna put some onions in the pan fried potatoes as well. So we're gonna fry up some onions at a little bit of a higher temp than we do here with the liver. Okay. So I'm just gonna chop up one onion just for the pan fried potatoes. Okay. And for me, I don't mind losing a little bit of onion just to make my life easier when peeling the onions. So sometimes I just take down one layer of onions. <laughs> Diggy. So let's do this. Let's chop up the onions. I'm going to put these in a little bowl for now. <laughs> that recipe looks so Mediterranean. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Just swap avocado oil for an, uh, for an olive and it's, yeah, for sure. And, I, and I've cooked with olive oil a lot, liver and onions. And, um, the lamb actually I marinated in uh, olive oil as well. So for the lamb, actually, we're going to use olive oil for the pan. We're going to bake it. Uh, or, yeah, we're going to bake it. We're going to put it in the oven. Okay. So this guy, let's put this in here the onions just transfer them. because we're going to use this for the for the liver once we get the potatoes going okay. Okay. and since I'm going to use the stove top here as well I want to finish off all my chopping uh, before we turn on the heat so I'm going to cut up some potatoes to make pan fried potatoes hopefully you can hear that on the onions right that's the sound I want right now and I want to kick it up just a tad more this thing's so sensitive ridiculous sensitive okay and I'm using uh, I think these are Yukon uh, Yukon golden potatoes I should have wrote down the name but I use all different types of potatoes uh, some potatoes cook way faster than other potatoes so you have to be careful the time fluctuates on you know what you're going to do yes we can nice so the potatoes i basically if i'm gonna make pan fried i do this and i cut these ones anyway that are like yukon sometimes i cut them smaller but right now i think like this is good because i want them to be uh, keep a little bit of meat on them. I don't want them to be completely fried, right? If you cut them smaller, you just get more fried action going on. And it might do that, we'll see. We'll see what we got. And what I'm gonna do when I'm cutting them up like this, we're gonna boil them after cutting them up like this. So we're gonna partially cook them uh, to a level where, where they, you know, they're, you wouldn't eat them just like that. You need to cook them a little bit more and we're going to cook them a little bit more in the pans just to make them pan fry potatoes. And we're going to cook these up with uh, mint and rosemary. Okay. And for the bigger potatoes like this, I cut them up more, right? It's not going to be four. Let's see how many, how many things we're going to cut this in. And if you see any big ones, you can take them down if you want. Right. So the onions, they 
got a nice sound to them now. Just mix up a little. I don't want to bang, uh, bang too hard on the stove top. The sound will be too much. Sorry, I got to go. Love your stream. Ah, no problem, Diggy. Thank you for popping by. It's fun to just to check in to see what's going on in the stream, right? And these are good potatoes. I don't have to cut out anything from them. Some potatoes, the I guess it's the rustic ones. I end up trimming down a little bit. Okay, is that enough? No, we'll make a little bit more. I like pan fried potatoes. Potatoes is good food. <laughs> See, ciao, Diggy. I believe it's for the speeding up of the cooking time. Yeah, for sure. Makes it faster, way faster. And the potatoes suck in less. Once you make them faster, they they don't suck up as much oil in the pans. Once you cook them up like this, right? So it's good. It's good all around. A friend of mine showed me this. An Irish friend of mine showed me this. I was like, "What are you doing?" And he told me. I was like, "Wow, cool. That's enough. We're gonna keep two in there. That's enough potatoes. Let's put this guy here. Let's transfer. Actually, we can just leave those guys there." Let's put this guy. Now, what I'm gonna do is, as we're giving this a shake, right. now we've got all this going, one other thing I'm gonna do before I get onto the stove top here, now I'm gonna kick down the onions a little bit. Okay. Another thing we need to do is, I'm gonna put the lamb in the tray that we're gonna put in the oven. And this is the tray that I'm going to use. We made our cookies in this, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put olive oil in this. Um, olive oil, yeah, let's do it with olive oil. Since I put a little olive oil in the... For the marinade. Oop. Sorry about the sound. And let's bring this guy over. The lamb. I mean, it smells amazing. Nice and garlicky. Right. So I'm just gonna take this and whoosh it around a little bit. Just spread the oil. Okay. And these are thick cuts. And while we're doing this, let me turn on the oven as well. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put it on bake and I'm gonna put it to 425. And we're gonna get the a fan kicking in for the oven. So from now on until the end of the stream, we're gonna have the oven sound. Okay. Apologies about that, but it's just the way this oven operates. Nice. They're nice colors on the lamp. Take a look. Fantastic. And I'm putting a little space between them, right? You don't want the lamp to be um, touching each other. Or I don't put it that way anyway. And there's a lot of, like, goodies. Take a look. Let's see if I can show you. Let me show you here. Right. We've got a lot of the garlic and the rosemary here. So I'm just gonna scoop those out with a fork. Show you. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. I don't wanna do any spillage, right? So I'm just gonna put those on top. Right. And I 
don't do anything with the liquid. I don't use up the liquid. Uh, I'm not sure if people actually do use the liquid for something else. I guess if you had other things you wanted to marinate, you could definitely use it. Uh, I just don't, so... They've gotten what they... What we needed out of them. So for the first little while, I'm going to keep the lid on the onions. Okay. Let them cook. Let them break down. And the onions is going to give a sweetness to the liver. Okay. So let's take this guy. Let's put it on the side. Let's bring this guy back. put the lamb in the oven until the temperature reaches 425 because what we need to do is uh, the, it cooks up really fast the onions or the lamb <laughs> cooks up really fast so uh, we just want it cooking at 425 not building up to 425 Chicho I must commend you on the way you balance cooking and comment reading oh thanks man it's just uh, going at it, agreed on that. It's good interaction. Okay, thank you. So I'm just gonna boil some water on this, okay? And as soon as this, the water is hot enough, I'm gonna throw the potatoes in it, okay? And what we'll do, we're going to let it cook a little bit. I'm going to mess around with this a little bit. And, uh, and then we're going to, once these guys are almost ready, I'm going to move it over to the next stove top, the little guy, and just keep it on high heat until I feel like it's ready. I usually poke the potatoes to see if they're ready, you know, cook to the level that I want them to cook to be able to put them on the pan to pan fry them. Someone asked me, uh, I think it was on the last stream or the intro stream or it might have been a comment on YouTube or, well, it would have been YouTube because I have had too many comments on BitChute, it's still very small. Uh, but they mentioned, uh, they want to know why I don't use uh, very much, I don't use peppers or salt or very much salt and peppers. The reason I don't use peppers, I went overboard with peppers. so. Uh, right now my body's telling me to chill with the pepper so I'm chilling with the pepper so I'm not using peppers as far as salt is concerned I just started reducing the salt that I used in food I usually try to just getting these recipes from the family what I try to do is sort of adjust it according to my taste the way I want to cook I want to interact with food so some of the recipe called for a lot of salt, so I reduced those to a little. Some of them call for a little salt, I reduced those to none, right? But I do use salt, and we will use salt um, on, the, on the lamb. Before we put it in, we're going to sprinkle salt on top, and then flip them halfway through and put salt on top as well, on the flip side, okay? And we'll use some salt in the liver as well. But I use it, I usually not using too much salt in the marinade, that's for sure. Chicho, I must go to the Late to the party. Has anyone asked about your shirt? No, not yet. You like the shirt, eh? It's from the... Uh, I love this shirt. It's one of a kind. Uh, I got like three or four one of a kinds from the same artist and the artist's family. Uh, so it's a beautiful shirt. I love it, right? And if you want, if you want to see his artwork, um, send them some love here let me show you he's the same artist that I used for the backgammon um, stream that we did where I had to fill up a little blank area black area and the graphic I wanted to use was one of his pieces so you can go to here's his uh, his artwork this is this um, art that we used for the backgammon uh, that you see for the backgammon video that we did and his website is up there 
Where's my glasses? There's my glasses. It's uh, he's got an Instagram uh, account, and it's Instagram.com backslash n underscore a underscore underscore u underscore s. It's Nas. He goes by Nas, and uh, the man smoking is by him. This is by him. So it's just art that he did that we put on uh, <laughs> put on these shirts that we used. Oh, so right now the onion is, is too hot. Okay, so I'm gonna kick this down. Okay. Let's do this. I don't want it to be smoking. I want it to be cooking, breaking down, right? And once it's broken down to a level that I like, then I'm gonna remove the lid and let the water evaporate a little bit and let the onions blacken a little bit and then we're gonna throw the liver in there. Cheers. I think people that use salt all the time get used to it and create a dependency on it. I agree with you 100%. So they don't even realize they're over salting, yeah. And it's just like sugar as well. For me, I eat a lot of sweets and there's been times where I stop reduce my sweet intake and then when I eat the sweets that I used to it's like wow so strong so strong I'm not a smoker I dig the art though uh, we'll definitely check them out um, yeah it's it's he's got different styles he's experimenting he's growing uh, he's coming to his own space and he's got some artwork that I really want to put on t-shirts uh, I've been thinking about putting some stuff up for Chicho anyway. If you guys are into it, I'll talk to him and see if he's uh, willing to let us uh, print some shirts and uh, and wear them. They're fun. Okay, I'm going to take his pick down. Boop. So let's check this out. We got the onions going. We're waiting for the water to heat up. And the water's bubbling a little bit. So what I want to do, I don't want to make too much noise. So I'm being very careful with the movement. I'm gonna throw the potatoes in there. Okay. And once I throw the potatoes in there, let's put this in here. I kick down the temperature because I don't want the bottom of the pan to to burn away. So I'm gonna put it on. I'm not putting it on max. I'm putting it on eight. Eight out of nine. So just one degree less, not a big deal. And the liver cooks really fast once you put the liver in there. So while this is doing this thing, and potatoes are boiling or getting there, I'm gonna move them quick, fairly, fairly soon. But I'm gonna prep up the liver. Before I do this, I'm just gonna clear up the sink. So with chicken, I'm usually careful. With chicken, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Hey Chicho, hope everyone's doing well today. Dubs, yes, everyone sound, seems to be doing fantastic. Doing some uh, nice cook. Going from pancakes to lots of meat. So, with these guys, I buy these frozen. And again, this is, um, we looked at the, let me bring out the, let me bring out the liver recipe again. Give my hand a little liver recipe. So this was uh, 0.28 kilograms of chicken liver, and it comes out to 0.6 pounds, and we chopped up two yellow onions, caramelizing the yellow onions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crack this open and put it into the bowl and give it a wash. I give chicken liver, internal organs a wash, actually all meat, even the lamb I gave a wash, the lamb we got back there, um, before marinating it, okay? So let me take down the liver recipe because we had it up for a while before. And it's pretty easy to do. So let's do that. And 
Here, let me just show it to you. It's just like this. You just cut up on, cut up on the top and bloop, and it goes. Um, for these cooking recipes, cooking cooking streams that we're doing. Um, initially, I was trying to make them as ASMR as possible, but with this mic, is picking up all the banging sounds. So there's a couple of streams for cooking I loaded up uh, because to me they're relaxing, they're chill. Uh, I loaded them up on BitChute and YouTube. I tagged them with ASMR in the title. But I've taken the ASMR down because there was a couple places where uh, there was some banging of pots or things hitting each other or me dropping something and it was too sharp so I don't want people to get shocked if they're watching so, some ASMR stuff so um, just a heads up on that I'm not going to be putting these in the ASMR playlist okay hey cool I made it ah easy nice welcome welcome I'm about to show you some liver. Chicken liver. Now take a look. This is the chicken liver, right? And usually when I get this, I give this a wash, right? And what I do is sometimes there's like veins in there. I know some people might be squeamish, like black veins in there. And this one doesn't really have. There's a little bit here. See this? I don't know if you can see it with the light that guy right there so I usually cut those out remove those okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it a wash and then I'm gonna cut that out and then it's not ready the onions for the liver to go in yet so we're just gonna leave it on the side and when it's ready we're gonna throw it in and once it's cooking we're gonna cut it up a little bit once it's cooked a little bit okay and this cooks super fast Hopefully you're not finding this gross if you're squeamish on this. But here's the, you know, liver with a little bit of water in there. And I'm just going to pour this down the drain. ASMR. I just like the relaxing ambience. Yeah, for me too. I was trying to get sort of the ASMR feel going with the cooking stuff, but it's not happening. Not with this setup. We will at some point. So from now on, in the kitchen, the stuff is not going to be ASMR. It is. It will be chill. It will be us cooking, right? So that's the oven hitting 420, 425, right? So what I'm going to do is. Here's our lamb, right? Ooh. Okay. Here's what they look like. Right? So we're going to throw this in and we're going to put the timer on for 10 minutes. And I'm going to check it in 10 minutes. Ooh, we're going to put some salt on it. Come back here. We need some salt on this. There it is. So I'm going to just sprinkle salt on top of these. Not too much. And then we're going to check it in about 10 minutes. And what we're going to do is, if they're good on one side, flip them, put salt on that side, and put it back in there for a few more minutes. Okay. I'm just going to poke one of the potatoes see where we are. Give it a whirl. No, I still need cooking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch the positions on these. I'm gonna put it on the low uh, 
element, the smaller element up top. And we're going to start caramelizing, not caramelizing, but cooking up the onions that was going to go with the potatoes. I went for blaze it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you would set your oven <laughs> for 20. <laughs> slip of the tongue, slip of the tongue. <laughs> so what do we need? We gotta kick this up. So I'm putting this on four right now. That's the, uh, and I'm gonna use avocado oil again. Okay. What's on your shirt? Um, my shirt is a design that a family member did. Uh, it's a, uh, here, let me put it up. You can check out his uh, website if you like, or his Instagram page. Um, it's right there on top. That's sort of another image that he's done. But basically, we've taken some designs that he had done and made shirts. And they're sort of one of a kind shirts that we made that uh, I like wearing. I think it's beautiful. I have another one like this. It's a little different pattern. And yesterday's cook, if you saw, it's a guy puffing away. Uh, and that um, is another another shirt. And that person's name, the, the character that he had, that I had on, on the shirt yesterday, his name is Esteban, okay? <laughs> so that character has a name and he appears in a lot of his art. Okay, Esteban is everywhere, okay? So if you wanna see his work, uh, you can see it, Instagram.com and it's Nas, N underscore A underscore underscore U underscore S, okay? Hi, Chicho. Hi, Chicho, glad to catch your stream, I've been following your content for a good while now thanks for getting me into modern vice oh my pleasure man i'm glad you're enjoying it i'm glad you're enjoying it uh, fantastic reads i just finished uh okay so this is boiling and what i'm gonna do oh sorry about the sound guys i'm gonna turn off the heat on the potatoes okay um, i just finished reading uh, Divinity, the trade paperback, the omnibus, and I loved Divinity 1, I loved Divinity 2, Divinity, two. Divinity 3 was a little scattered for me, I loved it, there were certain parts that I really loved about it, other parts I just liked, I'm not saying, I'm, you know, <laughs> you've been lucky to like a, like a comic book, but for Valiant, like is like, oh, underrated, and then I read Divinity 0, the last issue, in the Divinity Omnibus that came out as a single. And Divinity Zero, what a fantastic, read, beautiful painted artwork. And it really brought everything together, especially for Divinity 3. So after reading Divinity Zero, I wanted to go back and read all of Divinity 3 again because it made it that much grand. It was beautiful. Divinity Zero was a great episode. Great episode. Or great issue, not episode. <laughs> Okay, so I'm taking the lid off. I'm gonna not crank this higher, but a little bit higher, right? So I'm gonna sort of get rid of some of the water, but not too much, because with liver and onions, you do need, you can't have it being completely caramelized, right? So the oil separating here a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, actually what I'm gonna do is make sure the liver, transfer the liver here to another, So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this and dump the potatoes in there, right? Get rid of the water and get the potatoes ready to go into the pan. And let me just put that there as quietly as possible. Checking the pot, make sure it's not. Actually, I'll use two. Let's throw that 
back here. And rinse. Okay. So the potatoes are basically ready to be thrown in here. But what I need to do is I need to throw the onions in here. And with the potatoes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw rosemary in there and I'm going to throw uh, mint in there as well after the onions cook up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn down the temperature on the onions a little bit. Okay. Yeah, let's just use the same guy. Okay. Now that it's going splatter, I'm going to wear an apron. I don't want to ruin the shirt. And just uh, just to let you know, this apron, whoever said school is useless is wrong because this is an apron, I put it on backwards, this is an apron that I made in grade 8 when we took home economics. So I don't know if you have home economics available in your area, but uh, I recommend taking home economics cooking, I guess, early on in high school. It was fun to take. I get serious now. It gets serious now. <laughs> it does get serious now <laughs> when you got things sizzling. All right. So let's take a look at this. Okay, cool. We got a couple more minutes to go with the lamp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the light. Take a look at that. Nice. And this is. Take a look at this. This is the last of, we have two jars of this of rosemary. This is the last little bit we have for the season. So I'm glad summer is coming. Along with all practical, along with all practical skills, for sure in school. And this is the last of the mint, dried mint that we made. I have a feel home. You see, is something I phased out of school. I have a feel home, you see, feel home, you see. Phase out of school. Okay. Uh, dream just got real. <laughs> Strength just got real. Along with all practical units and trades training. And trades. Oh, 100%. Um, you have to have a good good teacher for trades. You have to have a good teacher for trades. Uh, it can get dangerous. Uh, I've known people in the school who were in shock. They cut their fingers off. <laughs> Right, and I had friends that, and me too, we did stupid things in the, in the shop. Right? You have to be careful with tools. Don't. Hey, that looks nice. Have a nice meal. Hope you people are having a good time. Stay hydrated, everyone. Stay hydrated, everyone. Life tip of the day. Hey, Chicho, good to see you, man. I need to head out, so I'll likely catch the Saturday stream piece. All right, Tom, have a good time, have a good day. Thank you for popping by. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna dump the tomato potatoes in there, right? So now that we dump the potatoes in here, I'm gonna do some mint. Right. So all I do, I take about this much mint, and I'm going to sprinkle it, break it down on top. Stems and all. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take rosemary. I want this much rosemary for now. And I'm going to sprinkle this on top. Let's do this. Let's give it a shake. And temperature right now on the potatoes, I have it set at 2 out of 9, right? So it's not that hot, it's not that high temperature. But these stove tops are serious temperature. Okay, they kick up high. 
chicho lot. What kind of knives do you use? Um, we have one knife here. It's in a dirty pile. I don't know the name of it. Um, they're pretty regular knives. I do have really good knives, but they're... I know, I keep on saying I still have stuff in storage. I still have stuff in storage. <laughs> right. uh, so I have, you know, more kitchen stuff in storage that at some point they'll be making it back here. So you can tell with the onions, I don't know if you can tell right now here, let me bring this up a little bit closer. See it's browning, right? So I'm just kicking it up just a touch, right? Oh, we forgot, did we forget to put the timer on? For the lamp? Oh, we forgot to put the timer on. I, I think I was gonna press the timer and I got distracted. So we're not 100% sure how long this has been cooking. So I'm just gonna take a peek. Right. Uh, needs more. Let's do five minutes. Okay, I'll take a look at it. It's not gonna burn within five minutes, but I'm just gonna put the timer on. What I might do I've introduced another two of these guys, right? Because this one I'm gonna throw the liver in soon. And I don't want liver mixing with the potatoes, uh, smacking around the potatoes, right? So. thing I'm going to do I didn't include in the recipe but I'm gonna put a teaspoon of turmeric in here I might put two teaspoons worth here's turmeric okay and turmeric is phenomenal for you um, I actually looked this up yeah I'm just gonna take one teaspoon okay and mix it in with the onions that's enough one teaspoon and I looked up turmeric so I could tell you exactly what the health health benefits are, and there are health benefits with turmeric, no doubt about it, right? And turmeric is something that Persians, Indians, in the Middle East you use a lot, okay? And it does have a flavor. Initially, I just wanted to make liver and onions, just liver and onion flavor, but I want to use a little bit of turmeric. One reason is, from what I understand, turmeric has anti-inflammatory properties and stuff like this and it's good for the tummy and I ate a lot of pancakes yesterday so I want to you know give a little bit of goodness to my tummy so I'm throwing in a little bit of turmeric in there um, so if you haven't tasted turmeric be gentle with this usage uh, but it is very good for you and on Wikipedia I looked this up it says it doesn't it's not listed as having any health benefits which is complete <laughs> it goes against everything I know, right? So it does, you know, that's taking Wikipedia because I know we used Wikipedia yesterday uh, for a, sort of a little description thing. Um, so that's one example of Wikipedia not being accurate as far as I'm concerned. Maybe it was just my high school experience, but I hear all sorts of stories from my parents about the practical things they learned in school driver's ed electronics auto shop workshop yeah and i feel a little cheated yeah you should feel a little cheated uh everybody in school right now is being ripped off we don't get boot and i have a feeling it's even worse now i was in high school 15 years ago yeah it's way worse now way worse now let me put this guy here take a look This is where we are right now with the lamp. Okay. So let me cut a little bit into this just to show you what's going on. Actually, before we do that, got a few things going on here right now, right? I'm gonna give this a flip. I put a little bit too much potatoes in here. Usually I try to not have 
that many potatoes where they're laying on top. I want all the potatoes touching the base of the pan, right? But let's do a little check on this. Yeah, so they're cooked. The fork goes through it, like if you can see. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour oil, kick up the temperature. Okay. And I'm going to remove the lid. We don't need the lid. And I'm going to kick up the temperature. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw in a little bit of salt on this. Usually I don't do it until it's cooked, but I feel like doing it right now. Now, what we're going to do is cut a little bit of the lamb, just to see where we are. Yeah, let me show you what it's like inside right now. Take a look. That's medium rare, right? Looks really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these guys. And I'm going to put it on broil for like three or four minutes. That's the temperature telling me for the lamp, for the oven. So I pulled it out a little bit earlier. Come on. With broil, you got to be crazy careful because it can burn super fast. Right? So we did that. We're going to kick it up to broil. Actually, stop broil. Oh, sorry. Stop broil. 550. I'm going to put it on 500. Okay. Start. And I'm going to put the timer on it for four minutes. Three minutes, actually. Clear the timer. Oops. Broil. 500. Start timer. Three minutes. Start timer. I'm just going to check it in three minutes. There's a few comments popping up. Another spice that is good for the stomach is ginger. Yeah, for sure. Ginger is amazing. And fresh ginger. But you want fresh ginger. But ginger. Use ginger a lot. Ginger is fantastic. Can you say hi to my... Ah, oh, sorry, I fell for that before <laughs> someone... <laughs> I was told that that's not a good thing if you can say something. I had to Google turmeric to realize uh, that we're using it often. We just called it kurkuma. Kurkuma. What language is that? After its Latin name. Wow. Uh, so, let's do this. So what I'm going to do now is, the onions is ready, a little bit too much I think. I got distracted. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw the liver in there. Okay. I'm going to put this guy here. And I'm going to put the lid on the liver. I might have dried out the onions a little bit too much. I like the way the potatoes are looking. I'm gonna give them a little bit more salt. Definitely a great addition to onions. We, as in my household, no way you're the math guy from YouTube. You show how to pomegranates. Yes, I am. I just, sup man, open. How's it going, brother? Hope you're doing well. At some point, we're gonna link up all the food stuff that we're making with mathematics. I want to take the recipes we've made at some point, figure out what the calories in them is, link them up with fitness and stuff like this. So everything that I'm doing is sort of, to a certain degree, linking up with mathematics, right? Nice <laughs> VP stuns. Nice meme. Uh, you still doing the whole 
comic book thing? Most definitely. I just, I had to pause at the, at the, during the beginning of the stream, I had a comic book haul come in with delivery. So we're going to do a comic book haul in uh, two days. You have any of the Fable comics? I have some, very few. I read, I read mainly the trades. Okay. I have to check on the map. for another two minutes so broil at 500 is still going so I'm gonna do hey start timer two minutes start so we're gonna do another two minutes of broil on the lamp okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick the potatoes down and I'm gonna kick that liver up So this is my liver little thing. I'm gonna mix this up. Okay. Just let it cook. And what I'm gonna do is, already, actually I'm not gonna pick it up anymore, but I am gonna put some salt in it, in the liver, okay? I don't know what people would call that, pinch? Not sure. Nice. Then I'm going to keep these guys separate so they don't mix up. Yeah, the little gun is chilling. Yes. Where is the lamb sauce? L no, ah, lamb sauce we've had before. We used to make uh, mint jelly for lamb. Fantastic with it, but we've ran out. We haven't made it for a few years now. We did it a uh, couple of years, and we had it for about 10 years. We kept them, right? We have uh, tried ginger on infusion. Ginger on infusion. That's what the lamb looks like now. When I put it on broil, there's a little bit of, let me turn off the timer on this thing. If you take a look at this, the bones are getting a little bit black here. Okay, uh, let me show you if I can see one closer. Take a look, it's getting a little bit black and this is cooked, so I don't wanna cook this anymore, right? So this is done, the lamb, and I need to put this somewhere or it's not gonna burn things, right? So, I'm gonna make a little bit of space here. Okay, let's do this. Let's put this guy here. Let's take this guy. Let's put it here. And once it cools down a little bit, I'll bring it over. We'll put it on a plate and show it. because we've got to deal with the potatoes still. Let's move this guy over. And... Potatoes. Once the liver is cooked a little bit, I take the big pieces and I cut them in half. Right? So I'm going to cook up the temperature on the liver a little bit more. We went from two to about, or two and a half to about three right now. This guy, 
is done. Do a little taste test of the potatoes. Right after a dense meal, we have tried ginger in infusion. I don't think so. A natural substitute for bicarbonate is a ginger and cinnamon infusion. I haven't tried that. Uh, right after a dense meal helps with the digestion. Oh, really? Okay, sweet, sweet. Uh, I have uh, usually mint tea or ginger mint tea after, not usually, but a lot of times um, after meals or during the day. I just have mint and ginger tea a lot. Uh, fresh ginger tea is fantastic. Greek Turkish, close. Uh, born in Iran, Armenian ancestry, most of my life in West Coast Canada. So West Coast mentality, uh, West Coast Canadian mentality. Uh, with a lot of the food and uh, certain traditions of the Middle East, I guess. Or not the Middle East, I guess that's Europe. Uh, Turkish. Look. The lamb sauce thing is a meme featuring Gordon Ramsay. I didn't know this. I'm so hungry. Okay, so this is done. I'm just going to put the potatoes here. And I'll show them to you. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. So I put a fair bit of tur turmeric in there so I can smell it right now, right? Let me turn this off. So I'm gonna leave the lid off. I'm gonna put this guy here. With as little noise as possible. And let me make a dish. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I've turned off the liver. Everything is turned off. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you everything, what it looks like on a plate. Uh, and hopefully taste them. Hopefully they taste good. I'm going to show you how many potatoes we ended up making. This is the potatoes, right? Nice. Let me turn off this left guy. Or the right guy. Is that the right one? Yep, that's the right one. So let me show you this guy, right? Here's the potatoes. Right. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, put it in a little dish that we have. And these potatoes, roast pan fried potatoes with sour cream, I don't have any sour cream right now, is absolutely amazing. Right. And pan fried potatoes go fantastic with liver. Right. And lamb as well. And let me take uh, one lamb. Where's the one we cut? There's a little piece we cut. Very nice. Uh, let's take a look. Let's put some liver on here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it here. That way I can put my plate right here. You can't see it yet, but I'll show it to you. Okay. Now I'm going to take some liver. Put it up. Put it on the side. If you don't add the turmeric, the onions is sort of has more of a burnt look to it and stuff, and it looks really good. The turmeric gives it a sort of a yellowish, yellowish tint. 
Now what I'm going to do, I usually taste the food before uh, before I put any additional salt on it or whatnot. So I'm just going to cover this up and move it away from the stove so it doesn't burn. From the stove top, the elements. And this is what we got right now, right? Let me turn off here. Let me show it to you here. This is what we got. We got the lamb. Here's the little piece that I cut to take to see where it was. It was medium. This is more towards the well done part. Hmm. Very nice. Like nice and tender. Let me do this. Let me show it to you how it Let's put it here. I'm gonna turn on this camera. Let's turn off this camera. Oop, and turn on this camera. Right. So here's the here's what we got, right? Let's cut a little bit of liver and I'm gonna cut the lamb a little bit just to show you. Take a look. This side is more harder. This side is like very nice. Hopefully this table is not going to... So this is definitely more towards the... It's not well done, but medium well, right? Tastes fantastic. Could possibly use more salt. So put a little bit of salt on it. Usually I wouldn't make it as well done, the lamb. Very good. And this is the liver and onions. Here's, here's basically the bite-sized chunks that I cut it into, right? So about that size. Very nice, very nice. More salt, we could. A little bit more salt. Looks great. It's very yummy. Very delicious. And the liver is really nice right now. It didn't overcook. It's nice and soft. Take a look. So you get a little bit of onions up top here and the liver hanging here. Right. Take a look. Very delicious. And the onions are fantastic. just some salt flakes mm. oh wow that was a lot of salt yeah I know it was a lot of salt <laughs> it came out a lot it was too salty I put in potatoes the salt shaker we use puts on way too much salt and that's why I usually just put it on in the cooking process Hi, I am back. Hey, Dickie, you're back. <laughs> Fantastic. I hope you guys are having some good food. How was the, what was it called? Someone was making Karelian stew. Very delicious. One reason I'm not hitting up the lamb is because it's dangerous cutting it here. Take a look, it's still a little bit red, right? But I like a little bit more red than that. <laughs> and the best way to remove salt is to hand pick each one. one over to you guys let's cut this one so the lamb overcooked a little bit right. 
but for people who like well done this would be this would be good this is exactly what they want just a little bit of redness medium well I guess this would be we still have the redness a little bit very good Sorry if I'm eating, but hungry. <laughs> Seriously, are you getting? I'm getting the smell of the food. Mm. Very good, guys. I hope you like uh, these cooking streams. Uh, they're fun to do. Fun to do, and it's helping me sort of organize my recipes. I do have a recipe booklet. Not here, that's a lot of recipe books and stuff that we have, but I have my own personal family recipe booklet. And slowly we will make our way through that. Growing up, I didn't know meat came any way other than well done. Typically Canadian mothers going, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I've had a lot of well done meat myself. Caramelized onions, liver and onions and potatoes. And potatoes is fantastic too. Sort of goes really good with the liver and the lamb. Just calms it down a little bit, soothing. Very good. Ah, doing good, full. Full bloom, 42. Just munching on liver and onions and lamb and pan fried potatoes. So guys, thank you for being here. Uh, it was fun cooking up this food. Uh, what we're gonna do tomorrow at 9 p.m., Friday at 9 p.m., we're gonna do drop-in math session, open discussion uh, that I've scheduled, right? Which is, doo -doo -doo -doo, let's see it, make some food drop in mass session uh, 9 p.m. Pacific time my time okay so if you can make it I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, open discussion and we can talk about economics I laid you know basically anything math related we can talk about uh, I'm good to go on that almost anything math related I want to stay away from calculus and combinatorial permutations um, there's a couple of questions that were outstanding I'm gonna look at those that people commented that would be nice to do a little mathematics on in the next stream so I'm gonna look at what they were there was one horse racing one we'll go over just the simple stats of it I'll dig that up uh, through the conversation and uh, there was a linear algebra one as well and someone wanted to uh, talk about functions I believe those are the three that uh, I might start off the stream with before questions pop up but someone mentioned that they would like it to be uh, what do you call it? I forgot to turn off the oven. Uh, they would like a little bit of economics in there, so we'll talk a little bit of economics if you guys want to talk economics. And then on Saturday, comic book hall here, uh, Saturday evening, people haven't mentioned what time you guys would like to do the stream. Hey, Chicho, I hope you're well. Looks delicious. Can't believe I missed most of the stream. Oh, that's okay, man. It'll be, it'll be up on BitChute and YouTube. And the lamb very yummy very yummy liver and onions fantastic so basically we have food just this work that took us how long did it take us an hour and a half call it another half an hour prep time beforehand right with marinating the lamb and stuff like this so about two hours of work is got enough food to feed us for two to three days right and we have some salad in the fridge that definitely includes some salad with dishes right which is time well spent right time well spent so as far as the Saturday comic book stream goes uh, no one's mentioned what time you'd like to do the comic book all video on so how about we set it up um, you know what I'm gonna load these two videos on uh, bit shoot on YouTube okay 
and I'm going to wait until the end of today until we decide on the time for Saturday stream but there will be a Saturday stream with a comic book haul just in case people when I load up the videos to BitChute on YouTube just in case they want the stream to be at like 2 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the morning my time which I'm willing to do okay Eat for sure <laughs> I'll get up anytime to look at comic books <laughs> okay again thank you very much for being here um, two kitchen live streams and at the same back to back basically and what we're gonna do tomorrow I'll see you guys at 9 p.m. Pacific time my time for a little bit of mathematics uh, other than that I uh, hope everyone has a fantastic fantastic day I'll see you guys in the next stream